Pastor Tommy here. This time I brought with me my lovely assistant. Star. This is my wife. Uh, for you guys who don't know, hey, we're going to put together for you a recipe that I normally don't cook. This is something that she, she's a master at this. So we're going to have some chili beans today. Man, it's a good thing to have uh, cooped up in the house. You want something good, you're going to stick to your bones. This is it, man. Chili beans. So we're going to start today. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need about, and we're tripling the, the original recipe, but you're going to need some Rotel. You're going to need some Bush's chili beans. You're going to need some uh, tomato sauce. You're going to need some ground beef, and we're using 85-15, but you can use 80-20, whatever you have. But you do want at least 15% uh, fat. Uh, and, then, and then we're going to use chili powder, I uh, think uh, paprika, and some salt, a couple of, a few onions. So it's gonna be great. So uh, let me go ahead and start chopping the onions up and we're gonna brown the hamburger. Don't forget to say whose recipe it is. And hey, yeah, let's give a shout out to Ann Williams. Ann Williams, this is your recipe. All right, see you in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. Hey, we've chopped up the onions, three onions, and we have four pounds of ground beef now. We had to split this into two different pans because it was more than we could actually fit in one pan. So we're gonna brown the ground beef with the onions in there. And after it browns, we'll drain it off and we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, we browned the hamburger meat. We drained the grease off. We transferred it to two pots. And what are we gonna do now, baby? We're gonna put Rotel in. And How many cans? Sauce. How many cans Rotel? Three. Well, we're gonna put one and a half in each pot. All right, let's do it. And I drained the water out of the Rotel already. Teamwork. Maybe one and a half the same. All right, we're gonna turn the heat up on this, then we're gonna go ahead and get our, our seasoning out. We'll get started with that next. Hey guys, after we uh, put in the Rotel and the tomato sauce, we realized we needed another can of Rotel just to kind of give it a little bit more tomato, a little bit more. Uh, sauce. So we just added one more can of Rotel. So now we're going to put in uh, paprika. We need about a half a teaspoon of, of paprika. Uh, and so we're just going to put that uh, total, that's for the whole recipe, half a teaspoon of paprika. And then we're going to put in um, basically a tablespoon of uh, chili powder. And so we're going to split that here. We're going to split that a uh, half a uh, tablespoon in each pot. And, and other than that, you really won't need any seasoning other than salt unless you want it to be spicy. It's like spicy hot. Now we don't like it really to be spicy hot here, so uh, we don't use any red pepper. But if you're gonna use red pepper, my suggestion would be to use three quarter to one tablespoon of red pepper. And uh, if you wanna do that, that's fine. If you wanna put in some Tabasco, you can do that as well. Uh, but we just wanna kinda keep it a little bit more tame here. So no red pepper here. And like I say, you just wanna season with salt uh, to your taste. We're gonna let this cook and marinate for a little bit, maybe about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll see you again. So a little hint, um, we buy the mild Rotel, but if you wanna spice it up, you can buy the medium Rotel or the hot. It comes in three different kinds, so um, we just like it less spicy. And what else? What else did you do in there? Oh, I covered the pots because you want it to get good and seasoned. And you want it, if you're in a big hurry, you can do it for 15 minutes or um, the recipe says to do, to let it simmer for 45 minutes before you add the bush beans, so. Okay, see you in a few minutes. So it's been cooking and we, about 20 minutes and we are gonna show you what it looks like without the beans, because we're getting ready to add the bush beans. All right, so now we're gonna add uh, two big cans of Bush's beans. One in each pot. These are Bush's chili beans. Any brand that you have will be fine, I'm sure. We like Bush's because they got a dog in their advertisement. It's kind of like our dog, Freckles. You're definitely gonna need another one. Okay, she says one more. Let's get one more open, back in a minute. Okay guys, uh, Star brought out a good point. Uh, after you add the beans, you need to go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit and bring it back to a boil. Then as soon as it starts to boil, take it back down to a simmer, let it simmer for a little bit. And then the all important part, the part that you always get me to do, honey, 
it's the taste test. So as you can see, I've already done the taste test and it's good. It's really good. Hey guys, let me share this verse with you. These two verses right here. Uh, here we are uh, in the middle of this quarantine and you know, we're trying to do these videos to uh, one, help you guys. Maybe if you're not uh, handy around the kitchen and then number two and mainly uh, to bring some joy. And so we're having a great time doing these things. My kids are helping to do the videos and I thank you Star for being here. This is uh, not really something that she's used to doing, but she is doing this for me and she's doing a great job and she is the chili master. So let me tell you what it says in Ecclesiastes chapter three. It says this in verses 12 and 13. I know that there's nothing better for men than to be happy and to do good while they live, that everyone may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all his toil. This is a gift of God. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys will uh, enjoy these chili beans. Uh, let me know, put a, put a comment in there. If you tried these things, you liked them, you want to change something, let us know. And one last thing, what, what you got? You told me this, I forgot it. That's all right. So just whatever kind of cheese you have laying around the house, if you want to put it on the top of your chili beans, once you pour it in your bowl, it makes it much better. I know something else makes it better too, baby. Crackers. Cornbread. Oh. Yeah, that's what we got to do now. Okay, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Love you guys. <laughs>